Hello friends, welcome back to the student blog. In this Nutanix, uh, Nutanix series of uh, training session, we will be looking at how to create storage containers uh, in this video and uh, we will go to our lab now. So, <coughs> this is the prism, prism element uh, uh, URL. Uh, is a, a dashboard where we can see uh, uh, like couple of things over here so I'm I logged into this using my uh, AD account uh, which is having admin uh, cluster admin uh, privileges to, uh, to access my uh, prism so like previous videos we have seen a couple of things and uh, now before we create a VM uh, we created a network uh, and uh, now we'll create a storage a storage container and then once it is done then we'll create a virtual machine uh, windows virtual box so let's go here so when we click on storage couple of things we are able to see first is the overview of the storage like uh, we can see logical and physical sizes over here so most of the time we'll be looking at logical uh, storage uh, container so here we are able to see the uh, like storage containers how many are there like we are able to see vm and data store is one and uh, we have uh, four storage containers which are mounted to esxa box or oh, sorry uh, abh box so capacity optimization you can see one is to zero is to one so data dependency and overall efficiency you are able to see here and this is the cluster wide control uh, control ops <coughs> controller ops and uh, cluster wide controller bandwidth so uh, and uh, cluster wide controller latency we discussed about this before so latency should be less than 10 that is awesome if it is uh, less than 20 then it's okay and it is more than 20 if it is 30 something like that uh, then you have to think about it uh, people may like users may see some uh, connectivity issues all stuff that has to be fixed immediately and uh, this is cache deduplication status uh, you can see here so this is this is for uh, alerts and this is for events uh, uh, like we don't have much but uh, this is all uh, about and uh, if you go to the diagram you'll be able to see again the logical and physical status here if you select logical it will listed here so we are able to see uh, we are having uh, 350 uh, like 350 gb of space of cluster out of it uh, 27 gb is used so uh, this is the same thing uh, what we are seeing over there these are the listed uh, uh, like events this is summary and this is performance about the about the storage uh, performance summary and uh, this is for storage alerts and storage events same thing listed here and uh, next is like a table where you can see storage container volume group and uh, storage pool uh, these are the uh, this is the default container when you create uh, and uh, uh, this is a new time management share and this is the one i just created for testing so <coughs> four contents are listed here so whatever you select uh, you will be able to see the summary in the below tab where you can see all uh, and you have option to update it delete it so mm, uh, this is for storage container so we'll create a container now for our to build a vm to build, a, to build a before we build a vm so i will give some name test 001 and uh, storage pool default uh, as i said this is the storage pool available and uh, when you click on advanced settings you will be able to see a couple of options here so the maximum size i can provide is uh, 323 gb so redundancy factor is one and uh, reserved capacity and uh, advertised capacity is what like uh, reserved capacity is uh, uh, max like uh, how much you are providing uh, something like um, uh, this is something like thin provision and uh, uh, like uh, uh, thin provision so reserved capacity is like uh, I am giving a uh, 200 GB and advertised capacity is like uh, whatever you give here uh, like uh, that will be uh, the that will be uh, uh, what do you call that will be listed there so one second okay so I'm giving 200 here so compression uh, in uh, you already able to see what what is this for so 
this is to perform post process uh, compression of persistent data and uh, caching and uh, uh, error sure coding like these are all uh, like when you see here error code requires a minimum of four nodes and using rf is equal to two and a minimum of uh, six nodes when uh, using rf is equal to three this feature is not recommended for workloads uh, where a majority of operations are overwritten okay so uh, here like uh, we are seeing uh, we are seeing that rf what is this rf actually so rf is an abbreviation for uh, replication factor for a storage container and also referred to as a redundancy factor for a nutanix cluster uh, there are two options for uh, rf two copies or three copies of data uh, just remember that nutanix does not require hardware to protect data so additional copies of data has to be made okay so <coughs> This is for that and uh, we can whitelist system files uh, like uh, if you provide the IP and uh, subnet uh, like it will be whitelisted here. So uh, we are good here to create the uh, storage container just click save and uh, boom it's there okay. So volume groups are like uh, uh, what do you call what are volume groups? Uh, <coughs> volume groups are nothing but uh, uh, like uh, collection of virtual disks uh, which are attached to a VM or a physical server where we can uh, like uh, where we can create uh, I meant create and uh, attach it to the VM or physical servers. Uh, so using the ice ice case base, uh, this will be uh, provisioned to the VM or physical servers so <coughs> so we can create one for a sample though know, we have don't have anything so uh, like test 002 okay so description that's fine I haven't had any disk so we'll select uh, somewhat at 200 GB uh, free space that's fine and uh, attached to a VM that uh, we can do but uh, we should we don't have any VMs so that is the reason like it's not listed here so here you need to provide the IP whatever IP you provide uh, like uh, it's already there any new client if you want to add just provide the IP and uh, just add it and obviously it will be listed here and uh, that server or that TSX I will be able to see any physical server able to see this uh, volume group uh, so we can enable flash mode if you have all SSDs so if you just click save obviously it will be created So it's in progress. So <sighs> okay. So we have created our storage container, and uh, in our next video, we will go and uh, create a virtual machine, and uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. So for now, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, please do subscribe channel and uh, reach out to me if, if you have any queries or uh, any suggestions on my mail ID vstudentblog at the Thank you. Bye bye.